Looks like we're getting ready to go green here. Zach Zikowski going to be taking us to the green flag here in pro stock side by side. Boy, they inverted the top six. Ryan Mulder and CJ Greaves starting side by side. We'll see if they can work their way up. Oh, heavy contact early. Well, up into the wall. Looks like both of them are going to continue on, though. A little bit of water laid down early. You'll see it start to brush away. We got one right down on the bottom. I think that was CJ trying to go through that mud hole. Yeah, it looks like the mud hole drying out a bit. Zach Sikowski with the early lead. Bill Berger in second. Actually, I think Robert Laurie in the 52. Hardy Cat ride took over that spot. Remember, we're on the short track once again here in the Pro Stock side-by-side -side race. Zikowski currently leading there. Jeremy Hool in the number 54 there in the second spot. Jeremy had a pretty good run yesterday. CJ Greaves in that 33 ride. Working his way up towards the front, already in the third place spot, started sixth. CJ Greaves got his sights set on second place right now. Boy, Zach Sikowski in the 90 has really turned his program around. He'd, he's just been bad fast every time he comes out to these racetracks. I know over the winter he is racing as well. And it shows, more seat time, the better you're off. Yeah, this race scheduled for 10 laps here in pro stock side by side. As Brent said earlier, around the short, short track today. Zach Sikowski, Jeremy Hill, CJ Greaves, one, two, three. Ryan Mulder there in the four spot. Head into that Polaris Razor gravel pit. Got the Polaris Razor legendary leap, as it's known. Look like tear-offs flying out of the back of C.J. Yeah. Greaves' car. C.J. Eaton or Roos trying to get that inside line, getting a little bit of grip. You see the different colors. When you see that light dirt, that means that the water truck never hit it. So C.J., he always is looking ahead. He's always looking forward to see where the track is better, and that's why you have the eyes in the sky with your spotter. He helps you out as well. It's one thing, you're always looking for an advantage each and every lap. The guys that get stuck in the rut, they continue to run that same lap time after time. Those are the guys that generally drift back in the pack. It's the drivers that are overly aggressive like CJ and always trying to find that fast line. They're the ones that generally move towards the front. Right now, Jeremy Houle trying to move towards the front. He's got the number 90 of Zach Zikowski in his sights going back and forth, just not being able to make something happen quite yet. No, trying to make something happen. Is our second place go? Oh, oh. Zakowski puts it up on the bike, sets it back down, giving Jeremy Hool a little bit of an advantage. We'll see if he can capitalize on it. Like we talked about that horseshoe corner, there's that ledge that starts to form there, and you get out of that rut, and you start to drift up high, and that's where we've seen doesn't, regardless of class, quite a few cars go over today. Jeremy Hool trying to hunt down Zakowski. Going underneath the Ponzi banner, heading towards the Swedes into the gravel pit. Who gets a little crossed up? Oh, oh man, big contact. Wow, who right into the Zakowski. That this was a hard be, hit. Yeah, it was, Jim. And this will be interesting to see how the track officials take that. I don't know. It looked like it was a racing incident, but he came right across the bottom, shoves that Zikowski out of the way, and now CJ Greaves is trying to move forward. Yeah, I would have thought there might have been some damage to number 54 Hull, but we haven't seen it yet. Yeah, anytime you hit these open wheels, I mean, it can be devastating. We're going to take a look at that crash that just happened. You see Zikowski and Hull, Hull just tucking in low, and it looked like just drifting up high right into the line of Zikowski. I'd be definitely bummed if I was Zach Zikowski. You have such a great run going, and then now you're not even in contention for the win. 
Yeah, it looked like Hool just didn't know he was there and drifted up a little bit too high right into uh, Zakowski's line, but obviously no damage to Hool's car. C.J. Greaves in the number 33, currently in second. Greg Groth, excuse me, Kyle Greaves now into uh, the third spot. Come to that mandatory competition caution this time by halfway point. So it is Hool, Greaves and Greaves, one, two, and three. That is CJ Greaves in the second spot. Kyle Greaves in the third spot. Jake Lunderby, Ryan Mulder, Blake Inlow, Matt Wood, Bill Berger, Jesse Klaus, Scott Waz. That is your top 10 as they sit. Five laps in of 10 here in pro stock side by side. Got the Polaris Razor Pace vehicle out. Going to bring them around one more time, and we'll go green flag racing, restart this race. Five more laps. Jeremy Houle on point right now, but he has a red-hot C.J. Greaves right on his bumper. Caution, conditions out, halfway home, five of 10 here in pro stock side by side. You know, pro mod side by sides, they are currently on deck. Gonna kind of roll into them after we restart this. Right now, Jeremy Hool currently leading the field. CJ Greaves in the second spot. Boy, Zach Zakowski, he definitely took the blunt hit of that, man. Oh, I don't even know where he's at right now. It shows him in 16th. Definitely probably rang his bell a little bit. Dev took the steering wheel probably right out of his hands. Yeah, and Robert Laurie there in the uh, number 52, I believe uh, he isn't on the lead lap. I'm Looking to see that uh, I think Kyle Greaves there, our timing and scoring has hit him in uh, third spot. So don't quite know how this is working out with timing and scoring and what you see on track. But what we do know is Jeremy Hull and CJ Greaves are sitting one and two. Hull trying to get the jump on the restart. A nice jump over CJ Greaves. Sliding down, sliding down low, trying to find a way around Jeremy Hool. Got a fender flying off there, a body panel from Jeremy Hool's number 54. CJ lap after lap trying to make that inside line work on the finish line turn. Tell you what, that inside line, probably the safe line as we've seen. Anybody drifts up high, they tend to bicycle. Yeah, you try to go a little bit wide on entry to come out tight on your exit, but today the ruts are really, really deep there. CJ, man, I thought he would reel in our race leader, Hool, faster than this. I mean, Hool with the front end up going towards the gravel pit. Watch for CJ to duck underneath like I thought he was. Yeah, CJ down low, not gonna be enough. Jeremy Hool with the momentum on the outside. C.J. Greaves going to try and set him up one more time. C.J. down low, Hool up top. C.J. side by side, doesn't have the momentum. Hool slams the door. Yeah, Hool definitely slamming the door. C.J.'s trying everything, outside, inside, and then trying to pull tear-offs at the same time. CJ definitely seen that pass that Hool did on Zach Zikowski. I don't think he really wants to make contact, but he's gonna try to go to that inside once again. Whoa, did you see that bump there? The uh, brake chop getting pretty rowdy there. Jeremy Hool, rear of that 
UTV kicking up, and uh, that was enough for C.J. Greaves to get by. Poole trying to come back to the inside. C.J. tiptoeing his way through, about a half a line off from the lap before, but now he's out in that clean air. Few laps remaining here in Pro Stock side by side. Right now we're watching the battle between C.J. Greaves, Jeremy Hool, number 33 and number 54. Way to the outside, trying to get some momentum to get around C.J. Greaves, tucking down low. Looks like he's got a run on C.J. Greaves. All the way to the outside, Jeremy Hull. Looks like he may have an opportunity to make this pass stick. Side by side into the horseshoe. C.J. back in, up on the bike for an instant. Hull down low. Only a couple laps to go. C.J. Greaves really trying to make things happen. Gets back around Hull. Zach Zakowski, he definitely is pretty upset right now, sitting in the back, and Poole still gets to battle this out for the lead. Poole down low, C.J. Greaves up high once again. This is a great battle between these two. Up past the VIP suites, they're gonna head into the Polaris Razor gravel pit turn. C.J. Greaves now up on the cushion. He was using that inside line to get around Poole. That 33 Monster Energy ride is really starting to perform late in this race, but Hull doesn't want to go away. Now CJ Greaves just can't shake Jeremy Hull. White flag out, one to go. CJ Greaves trying to hold off the hard charging Jeremy Hull. Jeremy Hull, you remember earlier on in the race, he took a dive bomb pass on Zach Sikowski. I mean, if you're CJ Greaves, you're probably thinking of that the whole time. You were in the front bird seat to watch that happen. So CJ definitely gonna play the protected line. Yeah, two corners to go here. Got the gravel pit followed by the horseshoe. CJ Greaves, Jeremy Hull taking about the same line. I don't know if there's gonna be enough for Jeremy Hull to catch CJ Greaves. C.J. Greaves has been favoring that cushion. One turn to go. Running that inside line and going to take the checkered flag. C.J. Greaves over Jeremy Hull going to be one and two here at Crandon. Ryan Mulder will round out your top three. Jake Lunderby, Kyle Greaves with a good finish. Blake Enlow will round out your top six. Good run for the Snow Dog Snowplow ride of Ryan Mulder, last year's points champion, putting it up on the third place position on the box. Not a day he would like to have, but anytime you can get a top three spot out of this many drivers, it's a good weekend. CJ Greaves doing some donuts in the grass there. Just trying to help out with the uh, landscaping, you know, not have to run the mower tomorrow. Great run by C.J. Greaves. Had a lot of pressure. Finally able to make the pass on Jeremy Hull. Jeremy just couldn't quite get it back. Great, great effort by C.J. Greaves. Looks like our timing and scoring may have been off. Looks like Robert Laurie lined up there to uh, possibly go in and uh, you know get third place podium spot. I know I chose Ryan Mulder on our timing and scoring, but uh, Robert Laurie was right in there most of the most of the afternoon. I think Robert Laurie may have snuck into that third and final podium spot. Yep. So it is C.J. Greaves, Jeremy Hool, and Robert Laurie one, two, and three here in Pro Stock side by side. Lori in that uh, very unique Polaris Razor RS1 single seater. All right, so that was Pro Stock UTV. We're going to have Pro Mod 
UTV coming up next after we get to these podium finishers. We're seeing them get gridded up, and we're going to go racing here momentarily with them after, after we get uh, done with our podium finishers. And speaking of our podium finishers in Pro Stock side-by-side, -side, here's Tiffany Stone. He's done it here again, CJ Greaves. I am just fully impressed with your drive style. I know you're always cool, calm, collected, very methodical in the way you did, and it just seems like I can never figure you out. I'm like, which, which turn is CJ just gonna take the inside outside? What is CJ gonna do? And I need to ask you, does CJ even know what CJ's gonna do? Hey, we do whatever works best that lap. I mean, uh, Jeremy was driving an awesome race, and uh, there were some spots that he seemed to have a little more grip, and then there were some spots where these Maxxis tires were hooking up awesome. So. I just uh, pick and choose my battles. I mean, I knew uh, there was a couple spots that I was like, all right, we got a little bit of a run on him. There was a couple spots where he would gain a little bit. I was like, this is where I got to make it happen if I'm going to do it. So um, we planned it out, watched as the laps count down. Him and I were running real good. He ran me clean, so I appreciate that. And uh, I don't think we touched the whole time. So can't thank all these guys from Yamaha, Yamaha Blue Crew, uh, Monster Energy, Method Race Wheels, Fox Shocks, Amsoil, uh, Max's tires were hooking up great. All the Ames guys for all the support. Um, Yamalu, CBR radiators, everybody, we appreciate it. My crew, they worked their butts off on this thing, and uh, we built one heck of a car this year. So, um, till next time. Well, you've done it here with uh, Owen Van Epperen taking in the Sportsman. You're doing this one right here in the Pro Stock. I know Rodney's coming up. It might be a clean sweep for the Blue Crew here in Crandon. Hopefully, that's what we like to hear. Well, nice job on uh, that, CJ Greaves. Heading over to our second place podium finisher, Jeremy. I know you uh, didn't change too much. I had a chance to talk to some of your crew that you only did a little tweak on some suspension, but you were fast out there. You were really just capitalizing on everything that you had. I'm starting to see a lot of blue groove. Did that play into any of the factor or does blue groove not affect you at all? Yeah, I mean, our setup is, is more toward when it gets slick. Um, that's when our setup's at its best, but uh, was pretty greasy early on. And I just, I got into the cushion a little too deep down in the gravel pit and uh, he snuck underneath me, and that's what, that's what happened. It seems like a lot of drivers get stuck up in the gravel pit. What specifically happens there from your point of view that just gives the little drivers the, you know, the troubles? Well, when you know you got someone like CJ behind you, you can't leave anything on the table. You got to drive it down in there, you know, until you see God hit the brakes and turn. And uh, I did it as many times as I could, and I screwed up once. Well, I know this isn't where you necessarily want to be, but taking two podiums here at Crandon is very special. Who would you like to thank? Uh, you know, yeah, it's a it's a great weekend for sure. We're as, as disappointed as I sound. We're real happy to be up there. The team's been working hard. Appreciate everything those guys do, and there, you know, there's a ton of people that uh, help us, and we couldn't be there without their help. You know, everybody back at the shop at Speedworks, uh, Trailo companies, Fox Racing Shocks. You know, this thing's handling great. You can just keep her on the mat. Doesn't matter what's in front of you. They suck it right up. ACX Lubricants, Raceline Wheels, Black Label Wrap Company. Uh, the Wildcat Riders, everybody out there watching, this one's for you guys. <clears throat> Dino Jet, PRP, Rugged Radios, K1 Racing Gear, and Wildcat Willies. Well, you've done it here. When we talked on uh, Thursday, you were telling me, or Friday, how fast the Wildcats were, and you pretty much showed that this weekend. Congratulations. Stepping over here with our third place, Robert. You capitalized on a lot of people's mistakes. With this here, you just pushed and pushed, and I like the way that you drive. Are you happy with the overall third place podium today? Yeah, I felt I rode really good today. Um, finally got the car set up, working. Uh, yeah, just really happy with the way everything worked. Talking to Jeremy and CJ and everybody else, uh, Gravel Pit gives them a little bit of trouble. Would Gravel Pit give you some trouble, or is there any place else on this track, on the short cra or course, that gave you some troubles? Yeah, I think the gravel pit is kind of the key area. Uh, a couple different lines people would take. Jeremy would kind of hang her wide and rotate, and uh, CJ would run over the inside. And then once uh, CJ got around him, Jeremy tried different lines, so it was kind of cool to see two different ways. And I was trying every which way to get around there fast, but that's a key corner, getting a good drive out of there and getting off the jump. Well, I know Polaris has got to be very happy for uh, getting you on the box today. Who else would you like to thank? Uh, again, big thanks to Polaris, Polaris Razor. Uh, they're the ones behind uh, this. And uh, my wife, Kasha, she, I, I couldn't do it without her. We rebuilt the car from the ground up this weekend, whole frame, everything. She was out with me till midnight in the shop every night, uh, helping me out. So 
uh, especially her, my parents, uh, DWT wheels, MRT tires, Walker Evans, Polaris lubricants, full spectrum power, AIM, uh, rugged radios, SEI, and holes racing. Well, I must say, your wife is amazing. She thinks of all the things for you. I'm glad you guys got great teamwork. Congratulations on the third place box. And a big congratulations to our top three winners in the Pro Stock side by side. Back up to you guys. All right. Thanks a lot, Tiffany. Yes, an amazing. Uh...